the foreigner it's nice and sunny unlike yesterday which was all rainy and i'm going to give you guys a brief uh overview of the foreigner from project overlanders and project foreigner it's kind of the the iconic uh foreigner that you see in both of those social media channels and the project overlanders youtube series so we'll start up front uh these are new this is a custom built headlight that we made with rigid um lights it's kind of a prototype that we were working on um these are the rigid radiance cubes and so the orange is the turn signal and the um, running light and then these are the um daytime or these are the fog the the fog lights from rigid that have a cutoff line um and so it makes it more like a headlight and then this is like a flood for um the high beam um and then this is a and actually it's an offered led bars um led bar this thing is actually super old and it still works and it's still great um and then this bumper is a custom front bumper that we made um and then i got little um led pods there for kind of like the side flood um so this is the front end custom grill custom front bumper that we made it's super simple but it works and it's better than the original bumper um so let's go to the side here uh, i'm missing plastic uh, we had a little accident in one of my vlogs. You could actually see what happened. Um, anyway, lower ball joint failure. Um, so let's see here. We have Stealth Custom Series wheels. They're the F5s with the decal. And actually, our guy Chase Warner um, came up with the idea for the decal, and then Stealth came up with the idea for the vinyl. Um, and after we did it, we saw loads of people starting to do it. So it's kind of funny um, how we uh, kind of, I feel like we started that trend a little bit and then got a little bit of rock rash there. Um, running Toyo Tire AT2s. Um, it's really hard for me to see my screen, so I'm trying to adjust the exposure. But the Toyo Tire AT2s, I'll show you a bit of the, the tread there. Um, and then under on the inside here, Actually, I think let's go to the other side. It might be easier to see. Yep, so we have the Bilstein. Uh, let's expose up so we can see. We have the Bilstein 5100 um, Tundra shocks on the third perch, if I'm correct, and then the Tundra TRD coils. Um, all brand new. Uh, I didn't buy anything used. Um, and then up here, we actually had Cambridge kind of fucked this up a little bit, but we have the uh, Cambridge upper control arms, the uniball arms. Uh, it's crazy how much of a difference they actually make. You don't notice, you don't know until you run them how much of a difference they actually make. Better turning radius, um, everything feels nicer. It's crazy. Um, so that's that. Up here we have another. Um, light bar. This one is just a Chinese uh, light bar, um, and kind of just did a bunch of research and f found one and bought it, and it seems to be doing okay. I have my GoPro up there, time lapsing. Um, this is a custom built roof rack. Uh, it's kind of an experiment. We use Unistrut to build a roof rack, so we have loads of mounting points. Kind of an experiment, and still works. Uh, um, so let's go to the back here. Our custom rear bumper that is not done. It hasn't been done for a while now. Um, and then we have the off-road LED flush mount pods in the bumper, which are hooked, is hooked up to my reverse. So when I go in reverse, they click on and I have loads of reverse. Um, oh, I guess the only other custom thing is our seat. The driver's side seat I replaced. Um, Let's see if we can focus on that. There we go. Super comfortable. I love this seat a lot. I would highly recommend it. I'm going to replace the other seat with it. The same thing as well. Um, got some switches here for the lights. As you can see, kind of. Um, and then I just have a simple Bluetooth Kenwood stereo built in. Um, 
And then uh, underneath the seat, which you also can't see, but I have a, um, what am I thinking of? Power inverter. And then I just have this cord here constantly plugged into it um, with three outlets so I can charge camera batteries, laptops, whatever. And that's hooked straight up to the battery. Um, The only other thing that we've done, and it's not done yet, um, but it's kind of a cool idea, I have loads of crap in the back, is this. It's our slider um, drawer, but this guy here, we actually have a stove mounted to it, and we built it, and the, it unfolds, and the stove comes out. Um, so much junk in the back window. the forerunner right now. Um, that's probably the only other thing that we've done to it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. It works. So in total, it's about a two inch lift, um, two and a half inch lift. And then we're, oh, and the tire size. I forgot about that. The Toyo tires, 285, 75, 16 is what we're running here. Um, stock brakes and everything. So yeah, it's kind of a quick little rundown of the, of the 4Runner. Okay, so... If you watched my vlog this morning, or the part of, from this morning when I was showing off the car, it was perfectly clear and sunny, and you saw all the nice time lapses and everything. And now, two hours later, it started downpouring. It was actually raining harder about two minutes ago. And now I'm walking to my car. Man, I was wearing a t-shirt earlier. Now it's just a downpour. Well, crisis averted. One of my guys called me saying that one of our rack mixers wasn't powering on. And uh, so I left, ran over here, and of course, as it would always happen with electronics, I did exactly what he did for the fifth time, and it came on for me. I guess I just have that, uh, that magic touch. The weather's weird. As you can remember, in the morning it was sunny, this afternoon it poured, and now it's afternoon again, and it's somewhat sunny. What's weird is Redding never does this. It's either always raining or always sunny. And it hardly ever goes back and forth in one day. Well guys, finally got my 14 mil back. Oh boy, this car's about to hit me. Which means I'm no longer using the 24, so now the passenger can actually be in the video without using a GoPro. It's kind of exciting. Yay! Right? Hold on. I'm, I was talking to the camera. Oh.